Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscriber, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. A priest, his wife and their maid all died at the same time. An Anglican church priest, his wife and their house help died in their sleep after attending a crusade in Abia State, Nigeria. Ajda Sisan Julius D.K., who is the priest in charge of the St. Paul's Anglican Church, Abai, Araria in Abia State local government area, was found dead on Tuesday, February 9th, alongside his wife and maid in their home. And it was gathered that after the close of a crusade, which happened on Monday, February 8th, 2021, on the church premises, the priest and his wife, his entire family, they all returned home. But when the priest did not show up to conduct service the following morning, and none of his family member was in church, members became worried and they went to his apartment to investigate, knowing that he's supposed to be out to come and take up the service. But everybody waited, he didn't turn up, and none of his family members even showed up, which was really strange, unlike him. And they came to the house, they found the doors locked, and when their knocks were not answered, they sensed that something was wrong. And all that they decided to do was, rather than just stay here and seeing that the door is locked, they've not heard from them, nothing unable to reach them. They decided that, all right, the next thing for them to do was to break into their apartment. And when they did that, they met the priest, his wife, and their maids, lifeless bodies all at the same time. They rushed them to a private hospital where they confirmed dead. This is really tragic and it's very hard to really digest anything like this. A source in the church who also spoke with people who had to come to make confirmation said that they were yet to know the cause of their death. He stated that they are suspecting food poisoning as they could not trace any sign that could have inhaled any form of generator fume or any form of gas that leaked. There was nothing like that. And it added that the children could have died along with their parents if they had not gone back to their various boarding schools. Right now, the question is what killed them all in one day, all of them slept and never woke up again you can imagine how tragic this kind of a story is it's so painful right now how are their kids going to feel parents died in one day with their maid the question is what must have led to this because there is no indication that a generator was turned on and the inhaled fumes or a kind of gas expelled and inhaled the gas which was toxic to their system and they all died there was no trace of such so the next thing now is it could be that it's food poisoning that they all ate the same food but now we're standing they're going to take up an autopsy to really find out what happened to this priest his wife and the maid it's really heartbreaking when you hear that People will just die like that. And it's so obvious that it's suspicious because how can the three of them all die at the same time? It's really suspicious that something has gone wrong somewhere. So it's either there's a third party involved in this or who knows how this whole thing happened. But it's clear that this is not a natural death. Something has led to their death. And I pray that they get to find out what has led to their death. Because this kind of a death, as a children, you would not want to give up. You would really want to find out what led to the death of your parents. 
it's painful when you see healthy, strong people like this. And all of a sudden you hear that they are gone. Three people at the same time. It's really heartbreaking. It's painful, I'm sure. Right now the kids are finally had to really accept the fact that their parents are gone and the maid is also gone. This world is unpredictable because it can't be, definitely it may be a human being that have done this. If there is a foul play, which the, everybody suspects that there is a foul play, this is a suspicious death. It could be that a, another human being is involved in their death, must have had a hand in this particular death that you're seeing right now. How can the whole three people just sleep and they never woke up again? All three of them in the house. Like they said, if their kids were around, so which means it would have been the entire family being wiped away in one day. Well, you would say that the world is wicked. It's filled with some people that are out just to harm or hurt other people. You can see something like this. You'll be wondering and imagining who would think of wiping away people like this. Who would think of even taking the life of your fellow human being away from them? It's really hard to see things that are happening right now. A whole lot of strange things are just coming up every day. You'll just be asking yourself questions. What is really going on? Are human beings turning out to be something else? Right now, no human feelings, no human sympathy, no compassion. You're just out to wipe somebody away from the surface of the earth and then you keep living. I don't know how some people live or sleep with such kind of guilt over them or some people are not even guilty. If some people take away some other person's life, some people don't even feel any kind of remorse, any kind of guilt. All they feel is they have accomplished what they have planned to do and they're satisfied with it. No one should be the reason for another person's death. No one should stain his or her hands with blood to get rid of another person that you're seeing, you're tired of the person, you have fight and all. Don't be a party to it. Because at the end of the day, you would find out that you have just taken someone else's happiness and peace. This family right now, the kids are heartbroken, devastated. They are so worried. Everybody is in state of confusion right now. They are now figuring out how this priest, his wife, and the maid all died at the same time. And funny enough, after they had finished a crusade in the same premises, it's not like they, they crusade, they travel to a different state. No, in their same premises, they had the crusade that went on on Monday and then came back home healthy and everything and they slept and that was the end of these three healthy looking human beings. I think... We all need to be prayerful and ask for God's protection because you can never tell. Like I'll always say, no one can predict the future. Only God himself can predict the future. Only God can tell what would happen the next minute or the se next second. Because you're walking out there, you're laughing and smiling with people. You wouldn't know who is against you, who loves you, and who really wants good for you. You can't really say because it's not written on anybody's face. Some of the persons that would laugh with you are the same people that will watch out for your downfall. Are the same people that will want to stain their hands to cut your life short. It's at the same time, everybody needs to be very careful with people you mingle with, the kind of people you discuss with and the things you even discuss with people. You need to be very, very careful, not just meeting someone and then you get acquainted with the person. You want to tell the person your whole life history, everything that is happening to you. Some people take pleasure in hearing you go through pain. Some people are like that. Some people just take pleasure in seeing that you are suffering. And so when you tell them your success story, then you've just created a loophole for your downfall that is when the person starts plotting against you because the person will be down and will find it difficult to keep living and watching you succeed in life that's another reason why i said please people should be very very careful you can never tell so right now who will they point fingers at 
it's really difficult definitely is a human being that does this kind of a thing to them if they are suspecting food poisoning then a human being poisoned it not a spirit it must be a human being then who could that person be obviously to be someone who knows this family because an outsider a stranger will not just come and kill someone he or she has no idea about so that is why people need to be very very careful only those that know you that can have access to you and then to try how they can get rid of your life then why would anybody go to this extent why would you have to wipe away this life just like that? Looking at them, these are elderly people. What, what would you gain in wiping them away from the surface of the earth? You would be saying, look at people that are just living their lives, final years of life. You can see they are mature. They are not like young people. Then you'll be like, why would you do this to an elderly man and his wife? These are people that you know that it can be very, very harmless. They are harmless people. They are just going about the work of God and then you will now decide that you don't want to see them anymore existing. Don't be surprised. It may even be a member in that particular church or around that had planned this kind of an act or that have carried out this evil act on these people. Nobody can say for sure. A lot of speculations. Some may say it's a family member. Some may even say it's a member in the village or someone around or a close friend or a brother or a sister that has done this. A whole lot of speculations would definitely come up. But only God himself knows who has done this kind of a thing. Once again, people should please be very, very careful, mindful of whom you discuss with and what you discuss with the person. There are some people you entrust all your care. You entrust everything about yourself to them. You say everything that is happening about your life. Unknown to you that these are the same people that will go behind and plot against you. Be very, very careful. Some of this information you give out to people about your personal life, that's the same thing they will turn around and use against you. It's a world that is filled with different kind of people, with different thoughts, different intentions. Not everybody that smiles with you loves you. Not everybody that smiles with you wants the good for you. Some of them are just out for the ulterior motive. Some are so selfish to the point that you've not hurt them. You've not done anything wrong to them. But seeing you alone gets them angry. And so the only way they can stop that is by ensuring you are dead. You, don't long, you no longer exist. That is how some people are. That's the extent some people can actually go. You can never tell. You can't predict what will happen the next minute or the next second. We should always pray and commit ourselves into the hands of God. Only God can protect us from harm. Only God can shield us from the powers of the evil one. We need to be careful and to be prayerful at the same time. May the soul of the priest and his wife and the maid rest in perfect peace with the Lord. May Almighty God console his kids and his other family members, every other person that God to know him and his well-wishers. May God console them all. This is a very, very big loss. Heartfelt sympathy goes to his kids who will now be left as orphans. It's so heartbreaking, really, really heartbreaking. You just come up or someone will call you on the phone. Your parents and your maid, they are no more. They all passed away. What happened? Nobody can tell. That's why it's even worse for the kids to carry. What happened to my parents? Who can explain? Nobody can explain anything. It's really, really devastating. It's not good that anyone should do this to their fellow human being. Whoever or whatever killed them, only God knows. And I pray that they get to find out what happened to this couple and the maid. Friends, what do you all think about this? What do you think? What could be your suspicion regarding this? Because right now it's just speculations pending when they have concluded their investigations before we can actually hold on to anything and say, this is what really happened to them. Please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. Thank you for coming up. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Friends, 
I'm here today to talk about how to start up a new YouTube channel. So for those that are looking to start up a new YouTube channel, probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it, or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start. That's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done. Not just the easy, but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own YouTube channel. This is a teacher. He is really successful with his YouTube and he has been a teacher for so long now. Teacher is Matt Pa. He's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own YouTube channel. No stone unturned. Every step of the way, he's going to lead you through it. You have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's Matt Pa there. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver, you can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel, to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned, like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain. At the end of your class, you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own YouTube channel. It's going to be like an ABC class starting from the scratch. So please, for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to Matt Pa's class. He is going to give you the whole content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch like i said and i'm going to repeat he's leaving no stone unturned and it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. He is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers. And even if you go elsewhere to search, you'll find out that what he is saying is actually true. He wouldn't mislead you. So please, for those of you that want to start your own YouTube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on YouTube, Please go to this link, click on the link below so you will have access to the teacher. That's the teacher there you can see and see his success. You can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matt Pa himself. This teacher, you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he's going to give to you. So friends, 
Do not forget to click the link below so you have access to MathPass to Mastery class. And he will give you the best teaching for you to, you would really need to start your own channel. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you once again and God bless you all.